Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the screw for the blower housing on your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because the screw is damaged or missing. For this repair, all you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dryer we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Frigidaire. Keep in mind, you might have one that's not quite exactly the same as this, but the same technique should still apply. Just make sure you turn your gas off. So we're going to turn our dryer around. So we need to remove these two screws right here. We're going to be using a Phillips head screwdriver. And once we've got those screws out, we can pull the top back and then lift it off and put it off to the side. So now we're going to unscrew these two screws here. We'll take off the grounding wire. And now we'll unplug all these wires here. And just make sure when you're removing these wires that you're pushing it on the tabs to release the wires from the board. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have six screws total we've got to remove. We've got two here, two inside the door, and two at the bottom. Close the door again. Now to make this a little bit easier, for the last two, we're going to get a piece of wood and we're going to set it underneath the dryer. Now all you have to do is just slightly lift on the bulkhead and it should come right out. Now we just have to remove these three wires here. There we go. Now we'll take the lint filter out. We'll set that off to the side. Now we're going to remove the screws right here holding the support in. Now I'm going to remove the two bottom screws that go into this bulkhead here. And now we can remove the bulkhead. We're just going to lift up on it a little bit and remove it from the support. And we should be able to pull it right out. So here's the drum belt right here. And in order to get it off, we're going to have to reach underneath the drum. And in order to get the belt off, we're going to have to push up on the lever to release the tension. And reach in with our other hand and now we can just take that right off. So now that the drum belt is free we can pull up on the belt so it doesn't get caught on anything and then pull the drum out. So this piece right here is our blower housing and you can see right in there we're missing a screw that goes in one corner. So grab your new OEM replacement screw and if you don't have one already you can find it on our online store. So we'll put our screw into place there. And now we can screw it down. And once it's tightened all the way into place, you can put everything back together. So we're just going to slide that in, like so. Now to put the drum back on, we're going to take the belt. We're going to go on the other side of the wheel here, just like this, and we're going to lift it up. And then loop the belt around the shaft here. And make sure everything's on straight. There we go. 
and then everything should be able to spin freely now just like that so now we'll put the ball cap back in place and we're just going to need to lift up on the drum a little bit while we do this we're going to make sure that the roller wheels are supporting the drum we're going to make sure that our tab goes into the slot here for the bulkhead on both sides and now you're going to also put the tabs into the slots on the support that attaches to the bulkhead right there and now we can screw everything back in Now we'll put the lint filter back in. So now we'll reattach the wires for the door switch. In case you don't remember, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you take a picture before you take the wires off. But I just took a look at my own picture. And so now I remember where all the wires are supposed to go. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up these tabs here and put those into the slots. There's going to be four tabs total. So now I'm going to screw in the screws up top first. So now we'll plug all of our wires back in. There we go. And now we're going to slide our control panel up. And we're going to line up the holes down here with the little tabs that are sticking out. And we're just going to reattach our grounding wire here. Now we're just lining up our holes and screwing it back in. Now we'll put the top panel back on. And when we do this, we'll just slide it all the way forward until it's in place. And then line up your screw holes and screw it back in. Now we can turn it back around and your repair is complete. Now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.